Hello, Dr. Joseph Barsulia, uh, coming to you here from Iboga Wellness, and just going to share a little bit about what my experience was like here. Um, I'm a clinical psychologist, and I actually work in a, another facility that uses Ibogaine for heroin detox, and I'm kind of new into it. I, this is my first pass at experiencing the medicine. And I came into this wanting some physical healing. I had uh, a condition, that, a medical condition that affected some nerves in my body. Um, I also had been on long-term antibiotics, and so I had some candida, some uh, yeast that I've been trying to kind of knock down. And also, just from the past, just had some low-grade kind of depression and things that um, tried a lot of different treatments for, and uh, was really curious to see how this would work for me. And first off, I just want to say, Iboga Wellness as a facility is just phenomenal. Um, it's, this is like paradise, and being here is one of the best, best trips of my life, just on a pure kind of pleasure, just on a vacation level. Um, but Costa Rica is one of the most beautiful places you could be to to engage in a healing experience like this. And the staff is just so compassionate and caring and humble and, and supportive and attentive to to every every step through the whole process. And um, I really was blown away. I had no clue uh, the power of the medicine in terms of this, the healing effects of it where I had an idea from studying on an academic level and, and just online and reading, but the effects, it's, it's really hard to put into words, but I experienced a total brain reset um, in terms of clearing out thought patterns um, that just kind of go on autopilot uh, in my mind, just kind of that tape that's playing. I felt like the iboga just broke that. Um, it's, it's still like there, I'm still kind of early in the process, but I, I feel like I can hold it out, see the thoughts, and kind of pull, peel back from it, and just kind of push it away, or if I want to entertain it, I can entertain it. Um, I felt on the medicine, some of the nerve pain I had in my neck, and my, my hands, and my wrists, that had just been chronic, I've tried everything I could to treat it, pharmaceuticals and naturopathic medicine, um, I could feel the iboga literally um, clearing out and kind of chiseling, healing, chiseling away. I don't know whether it's pollutants or environmental things that are in my body that were causing it, but it felt like it was just kind of going in and clearing house, just doing housekeeping on all my nerves. Um, and in my brain, I felt it as well. I felt um, an overwhelming sensation of just, I was telling my partner, I felt like I, I got a two-day brain massage. Uh, I just felt like this kind of relaxing, clearing um, in my actual brain tissue. Uh, and that's what I experienced on a physical level. On a, on a spiritual level, um, I had no idea what to expect. Different people report different visions and seeing things, and some people don't see that. Uh, for me, I had a profoundly visual um, journey where I saw um, I felt like I was taken to see the beginning of time, really, um, beginning of creation. And uh, I also saw uh, in my visions how the world could be um, with some of these plant medicines and how the world could be in terms of a peaceful, unified space and, and, and a land. And um, I really felt a sacred sense of like I, what I would call God being with me through this through the medicine, through the experience. I never felt really afraid. Uh, it was very intense, um, but it was not, uh, wasn't brutal or wasn't intolerable. It was very, very tolerable. And, and pretty shortly after, you just feel like the best you've ever felt. Um, and being a psychologist and doing this medicine, I could not help but think how many people need this, this medicine, how many people um, are stuck and are uh, in a Western model where they might be getting some relief from some of their symptoms from um, from uh, pharmaceuticals, but this, the what the iboga can bring is really from the inside out, um, clearing out the origins of where 
people have in, uh, entrenched patterns of suffering and uh, entrenched patterns of just whether, whether it's self-sabotage or uh, doubt or ego, or whatever the, the pattern is that keeps you from being in your highest self, I felt like the medicine really um, just did it on a profound level far beyond anything I could imagine. And I think what I fell in love with too is the way that these guys do it with the Bawidi uh, ritual and spirituality infused into it. It really created a nice kind of framework and um, just story and and culture around the experience where I felt like I was connected to the, the Bawiti and this medicine which is so ancient, far more ancient than anything I've uh, experienced or even heard of uh, in terms of healing medicine. And I want to come back. Uh, the first thing I felt after I did this was I can't wait to come back and do this again. Um, and uh, I, I think it's going to change the world and for me I, I couldn't recommend this place, really could not recommend it highly enough. Um, it's just you have the pleasure of the, the environment in Costa Rica, the lush landscape. I mean, everything here is perfect from the food, the accommodations, um, the in between being able to do a, the spiritual bath was very symbolic and meaningful for me. Um, and I'm, I'm going to tell all my friends and family about it, and I can't wait to, to share back and collaborate with these guys. And they're doing phenomenal work, really, from a heart space. And um, if you come here, you undoubtedly will not be disappointed. So if you're on the fence, just, just do it. You'll have a total reset. Um, you'll get what you're looking for, I believe. So thank you.